Hello, I'm Justin, and I want to help you develop your creativity. So what we're going to work on is seconds and thirds. Now that might not make any sense to you, but seconds and thirds have to do with intervals. And intervals are the space between two points, such as a mile between one house and another. So the interval between house A and house B is one mile. So the same thing happens in music, but it's just a sound distance. Okay, so if we take the key of G in shape seven, shape seven because we're starting on an F sharp, and we play it this way, or this way, we're actually playing it with the same interval system. We would call them seconds. So think of it this way. If we start at one house and go to another house and then stop and then start at that house and go to another house and then stop, we have spaces between each of those houses. Okay? So it's the same thing with notes. If I start on F sharp, that's the first place. If I go to G, that's just the next one. Okay? So if this is my first note, this would be my second note. Okay? So if I started on G and went from here to A, I'm just going to the next note in the key. So that's also a distance of a second. If that's one, that's two, okay? So even if I'm playing a whole series of notes, there's still what we would describe as seconds, okay? So that's one way of playing. I'm gonna play that way a little bit, again, with my keyboard. So let's play over, uh, let's play over C for a bit. mostly in seconds there, walking up some notes, bending down, changing directions, okay? But what I want you to know is, is that I'm not going to be able to be uh, really creative with that except to a certain point. Now, of course, it is creative, it can be creative, but there are a bunch of other things we can do. And so what we do is use a different interval. So the other interval that we want to use is called a third. And it works just like a second, except it's further away. So if this is the first place or where I start, and this is the second place, or the first one I move to, then that would be the third place. So in the same way that I described in the early example of houses, we have the first house, the second house, and the third house, we're doing the same thing with the notes. You have the first note, the second note, and the third note. So what we're doing is we're just going from the first directly to the third note, okay? So that is how that works. Now I can back up and get the one that I skipped, but I can go a third note away from that. So if this is, if this is the first one, that'll be the second, that'll be the third. So I still have to follow my system of notes in my shape, so I can play the first note and its third, and then the second note and its third. I can reverse that. Okay, so now I'll play some lines with that. Now, one thing I want to point out <clears throat> is that sometimes when we play things and they are new to us, they can kind of sound exercising. I'm sure you've noticed that if you've been playing for a while, you've learned something, and while learning it, it sounds kind of exercising at first, and then it starts to be a little bit more musical, okay? So this may sound the same way to you. Number one, if you haven't practiced it or studied it on your own, uh, playing in thirds, it may sound a little strange even when I do it. And uh, so of course it'll sound strange when you first do it because it'll be new. So here we go. Uh, we'll continue with C, I think. <laughs>
playing in thirds. Every now and again I would hit a second, but that's just because I'm moving from one note to the next. Uh, meaning if I play A and a third down, I get F sharp. So if I play that one that I've missed, G and it's third, I still have a second in there because I went from F sharp to G. You see but it still sounds different to us because we are attaching ourselves to the first note and the second note. And then the next two notes, even though the G is a second away from the F sharp, we're still perceiving it as a pair of notes. Okay? So that's how those work. And they come straight from our shape. Shape 7 again. So that's shape 7 in seconds. That's shape 7, not completely, but shape 7 in part, playing it in thirds. So give that a try, and I hope that helps you develop your creativity.